Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator, and welcome to the virtual FISC approach that we're going to be doing in the beautiful JBG Logistics Cessna 152. Now, this is not going to be a standard video where I just feign stuff. There's so many resources available to us um, with this big of an approach set up for this many VFR, or I should just say uh, general aviation aircraft. Um, so there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in the background that you're not going to see. Um, but we're also going to be using supplemental things like our notums, like our, where are you? Um, different, not flight aware. Where are you? This guy, um, live ATC.net. So we're going to be using real ATC versus the garbage, uh, Asobo stuff. Um, we are going to be using FSLTL, I have it open in the background. In fact, I can show that to you now if I come back over to here and then go like that. You should be able to see that. Can you see that? Nope, you can't. There you go. Um, so we are using FSLTL. The problem with FSLTL is that FSLTL is using Flight Radar 24, which if I go back to my Flight Radar 24, you can see it's a pretty sparse um population of aircraft compared to um your let's say flight aware you know you can see a real big dense grouping down here by ripon versus or on the uh, adsb as well versus on your flight radar 24 it's pretty sparse um so we're not going to see anywhere near the actual density of aircraft operating today unfortunately um but that's not going to stop us from doing this approach so let's go ahead, um, hop in our 152 here, and uh, get started with some pre-flight planning, review our NOTAMs, um, get radio set for what we need for immediate departure, and then uh, get route. All right, getting started now in the uh, JPG Logistics 152, let's head over to the NOTAM here, and uh, see if there's anything we're gonna be needing to immediately look at. I'm gonna move my microphone as well, so I can more comfortably uh, look at one of my other screens here. Um, I believe we're going to be doing the Fisk approach. Um, they're currently landing runways 1836 left and right, as well as runway 27. Um, since we are going to be flying the VFR Fisk approach, I'm guessing we're going to be getting runway 27, but uh, we will figure that out as we get a little bit closer. Um, so let's see here. So we're well more than uh, ahead of our 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time. We've got good fuel load. On the 152, if I come back to that, you can see we have just over a half tank in each air, in each wing, so we're good there for fuel. We do have a lot of weight on board, but it's not gonna kill our fuel burn uh, anything significant. Um, we'll check out 125.9er for the Edis. Um, shortly after we take off out of New Holstein here, and then uh, we'll hop onto 120.7 as well. Uh, ensure lights are on within 50 miles of Oshkosh. Leave transponder on throughout approach, which is interesting because Flight Radar 24, I believe, uses Mode C transponders. But if you just look at the ADSB information, you know, I, I don't know, maybe every single one of those airplanes doesn't have a Mode C transponder, which I find hard to believe. Um begin the procedure I, I honestly what I think it is is I think it's a leftover from previous Oshkosh approaches in which your transponder was supposed to be off I think um, but anyway um, let's see here plan your fuel yep we're good there if you're not comfortable nope we're good transitions begin the procedure at the ATC designated transition starting point ATC will advise transition starting point on the arrival ATIS Real changes may be made on Fisk approach, so we will do that. Pick out an aircraft of similar type and speed to follow. We're going to try that. At least half a mile in trail. Behind the aircraft, don't fly side by side. That's fine. Don't ask turn. can do that. Transition starts in the city of Endeavor, 40 miles southwest of Oshkosh, and is used extreme for extremely high volumes of traffic. Okay. Uh, so we've got a VP or a uh, VFR waypoint. So we're going to be going, I think we're going to go direct to Ripon, actually. Because um, that should keep us clear of the um, Class Delta airspace here. So we're here at New Holstein. If we go direct from New Holstein to Ripon, 
which is right here. So you do a straight line to there. That's, oh, actually, maybe it won't. So I think we'll go New Holstein to Fond du Lac, then to Ripon. And from Ripon, we'll follow the Fisk approach up the train tracks here. Hopefully get called, get vectored in, and then come into land. So let's uh, hop back in the uh, old 152 for Mr. JPG Logistics. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started here. Go ahead and shut our door. Good fuel prime. Carved airplanes, so we will uh, go with the mixture in. All right, prop art clear. Shut out the window, clear prop. Is my fuel petcock off? Yeah, it is. I'm an idiot. Let's try that again. Clear prop. Good start. All right, I'm actually going to pull up the Oshkosh ADIS now because um, I want a good barometer set for our altimeter. Uh, we'll come back to it later. F Oshkosh ADIS, information Gulf, 1653 Zulu weather, wind 180 at 6, visibility 10. Two clouds, nine or thousand. Temperature two eight, two point one six. Altimeter two nine or nine or zero. Two nine or nine or zero. Rav, runway two seven, approach in use. BFR arrival procedures are in effect. Buckaway Lake transition. Runway. Okay. Little cheat sheet there. So let's go one two three dot zero for New Holstein. And then Oshkosh Atis on the actual aircraft is going to be... Uh, where are you? 675 is the VOR. CT is 118.5. Well, I'm stupid. I can't read a uh, sectional chart. So... That's not true. I just can't find it. Like, I... <laughs> Uh, I see the VOR. I don't... I don't... anyway. One two five dot niner. While we're here, we'll get uh, Fisk tuned in as well at 127.0. And we'll tune the Oshkosh Tower at 118.5. Decimal five. All right. 116.75. For the Ashkash VOR. And that should be us good to go. Realize you weren't watching any of that the entire time. I do apologize. Good amount of weight on board. Uh, myself, my co pilot, and uh, some various uh, camping goods. Um, so we are going to be a little bit heavy in the JPG Logistics, Logistics 172. Um, oil temp's not really coming up. We got good pressure. Um, so I'll probably sit here and idle for a little bit to get uh, some temp in the oil before we move to take off. While we're waiting on oil temp to come up, um, let's uh, add a waypoint of ripping to our little uh, OGPS. It didn't find it. find Fisk. Okay.
Can I only do airports on this? Yeah. No, it found Fisk. What is the... Let's go back. Let's try uh, VPRIP. I'm going to go ahead and reset our uh, GPS and we'll uh, get back for a minute. Like I said, still waiting on oil temp to creep up a little bit. We're probably good to go now, um, but I'll go ahead and get the GPS set and then uh, be back once that's set up. This is going to be a very textbook um, style approach, so I do apologize if it does get boring, but I mean, this is what you would be doing in the real aviation world. You're not gonna hop, skip, and jump stuff ahead just to keep a, a video interesting, so. So I am having issues for whatever reason um, on the map. You can actually see there is Ripon right there, and it is a known waypoint, but when you type it in, it just doesn't uh, pop up, which is fine. So we're gonna be using a Whiskey Sierra 46 which is very nearby. So there's WS-46, then we're gonna go Fisk. So, rip into Fisk, and then we'll go to Oshkosh. I'm not gonna be loading any uh, approaches. Um, because it's going to be a non-standardized approach. So, that should be good. Go back to the map, zoom it out a little bit. So we're going to be flying direct Ripon. We're going to skirt north of Fond du Lac, come up uh, to WS-46 there, and then intercept on the Fisk approach to Oshkosh. We'll be contacted by ETC somewhere on this leg here, so... That'll be the plan, but that gave us a little bit of time to uh, warm up the motor. How's our oil temp looking? Well in the green, which is great. It's what we love to see. So let's go uh, tax side on, park brake off. Um, I need to know what airport we're going to, though. Or what airport, what runway we're going to be taking. Can I get that off of uh, you? No. Uh, 8 Delta 1 is New Holstein. I have... Runway 1-4. Cheat sheet of that on the old uh, VFR map. So let's go ahead and make our call. New Holstein traffic, Cessna 289 or 3, Foxtrot taxing to runway 1-4 in Holstein. Quick control check, free and correct. Make sure our winds didn't shift on us, they did. So we're actually going to be doing a 3 2 departure. Ever so slightly coming from uh, the opposite direction now, which is fine. So go ahead, fan out here, do a mag check. And uh, we'll make that correction on the AWOS. Not AWOS. The CTAF. Alright, let's run up the motor.
Hopefully it doesn't want to stabilize. I'm not touching the throttle, but uh, it's okay. 30 drop. Back to both. Man, this O200 is uh, not very happy with me today. Okay, back to idle. Set you to altitude repeating. Romney Holstein will do a heading hold of. Uh, start out with 210, see where that gets us. New Holstein traffic, correction, Cessna 2983 Foxtrot's going to be taking off runway 32 at New Holstein. Alright, plenty of room for the 152, we don't need a back taxi. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. We didn't have to back taxi for 1 4, but we're definitely going to have to for 3 2. Get a little high speed taxi on. Carpet is on. That might be why the engine was running so rough. But now that heat into the carb on a, what is it, 75 right now? Well, it's almost 80. Sure, run a lot happier now. Gonna leave our uh, hamburger window open. We're uh, good up to 143 knots, which I don't think we'll be hitting today. there. They should be no factor. Let's go fly. Start our left hand turn now. And new Holstein traffic, Cessna 2893 Foxtrot, clear the active departure to the southwest. Alrighty. Clear of all obstacles. Let's go landing light off. Let's see if that diode a little bit of heat. Autopilot can go on, and we're going to go into heading hold. And I'm going to want to climb at 500 feet. 500 feet per minute. And I am going to close this window just for. Uh, Noise sink. All right, I am going to go ahead and fly over Lake Winnebago. I will touch base with you guys then.
and uh, we'll start our uh, approach into Oshkosh. All right, still en route um, towards Fond du Lac. Now let's go ahead and grab uh, Adis. Zero. Our nav, runway 27, approach and use. If all arrival procedures are in effect, on the way, late, transition. Runway 27 and runway 36 left and right in use. Monitor Oshkosh approach control frequency 120.7 for runway assignment and frequency. Oshkosh tower controls will assign either runway 36 left or runway 36 right. Let's get a refresh. Listen to it from the top. There's aircraft Oshkosh status information Gulf 1653 IG. Zulu weather. Wind 180 at 6. Visibility 10. View clouds 9 or 1000. Temperature 28, 2.16, altimeter 29 or 90. RNAV, runway 27, approach and use. BFR arrival procedures are in effect. Fuck away, late, transition. Runway 27 and runway 36 left and right in use. Okay. Monitor Oshkosh approach control frequency 120.7 for runway assignment and frequency. So the. The winds are out of the. North, so the winds are at 180 basically. I'm wondering if we should start planning for a runway 18 approach. Um, switching over to our flight aware, first of all, there's the uh, Bonanza mass arrival coming in. You can see all those guys down there, and I can tell that they're Bonanzas. One, because if you click on them, you get pictures of Bonanzas. Um, and then two, you have on flight aware, you have the aircraft type. Um, so BE-35 is Bonanza, BE-30, okay, rude. So, Bonanza mass arrival is in progress. I'm guessing they're all going to circle the land on 27 here. Maybe they're going to come straight in 36. We'll have to see. It's BE-33, so it looks like he might be turning for a 1-8 approach. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, if we do get a 2-7 approach, uh, there's going to be a little bit of weather we're going to have to keep in mind. It looks like a li just a little bit of uh, precip here over uh, the, s excuse you, the southwest. God, I, I, you know, it's really funny. Sometimes I get like super self-conscious about my uh, audio bleed from like external sources. So like there was a train horn there in the background and I'm like actively acknowledging it. And then I go back to the recording and you don't even hear it. But anyway... Um, so if you take a look out our uh, windscreen here, let's hide this for a second, you can kind of see what looks like a little bit of a thicker cloud buildup out there in the distance, but uh, we're going to hopefully make it a no-factor situation, get in safely. Um, started a descent down to 1800 as we uh, crest Fond du Lac, and then uh, hold her at 90 knots, 90 knots indicated. All right, cresting direct overhead Fond du Lac now. I'm gonna blow out your ears with this uh, O200, hang on. So overhead Fond du Lac now. Let's go ahead and turn direct to uh, Whiskey Sierra 46. Actually, we're pretty much on track for uh, WS46 now. So I'll come back left just a little bit. Looking at arrivals, there are still quite a few aircraft on approach um, on the Fisk arrival for runway 27. There's nothing actively on the field right now. Um, this is the runway 27 approach. There's something, a high wing of some kind. Probably a Cessna product. Resolution's super low. They call this 1080. It, it ain't. But So they are still landing on runway 27 nonetheless. So, we're going to maintain our VFR approach for Fisk. Keep trucking to uh, Whiskey Sierra 46. I got uh, Fisk approach up now. We're going to start uh, monitoring them. And we'll just listen... Uh, Listen for the approach. We'll also start a uh, descent down to 1,800 feet.
Nice, stable, controlled flight. Come back over to the Notams, make sure we're uh, all good in there. So, fly 180 at 90 knots, we're working on that. And we will probably uh, do the uh, railroad track transition, if, if I were to guess. Uh, that seems to be what they're doing now. Again, if you look at uh, whether we're even uh, the ADSB here. So here's Rippin, and you can see there's those railroad tracks leading right into Oshkosh. So, should be a pretty, uh, hopefully uneventful flight. Smooth landing, plenty of fuel remains. Temps are all in the green. EGT is a little bit low. So we'll go ahead and uh, trim out the mixture like so. Let's uh, go ahead and grab uh, our ATIS again. Just make sure that hasn't changed. We are approaching the top of the hour. So we'll grab it one more time before we uh, commit. Uh oh. It's like someone's hot micing on ADIS. pre-recording so I don't know maybe they're in the process of changing it out but uh, no audio coming through on the ADIS channel right now if you want a little bit of uh, behind the scenes how the sauce is made I can do that for you I'd rather not but I will what I'm doing currently is this is obviously my OBS recording everything in the background um, but I have these three channels here are all live feeds from Oshkosh to whatever you might be listening to so that's how that's how I'm managing the real world ATIS, if you will, um, is through those means, or I should say the real world frequencies. It's a lot of switching on my part, but it's nothing I'm not used to. I used to do it uh, professionally, so this uh, isn't anything too bad. And I got it nicely uh, set up on my stream deck at home. So we're gonna continue on to Whiskey Sierra 46. Keep coming down to 1800 we're at uh, 3400 nearly now so i might uh increase our rate of descent just a little bit pull some power out start looking for traffic not that i think we'll see much yeah dude adis is so broken okay we're just gonna switch back I don't know if you heard that there was someone actually keying the microphone, like, hey, dude, this, uh, this ain't what it's supposed to be, so. Keep tracking there, then we'll monitor uh, disc approach as well. My little ATC links broke. Well, I will refresh those while we continue on to Ripon and uh, check back in once we're. Uh... Oh, got a lot of airspeed there. Once we're uh, reestablished with the uh, ATCs. So I've been listening in to uh, this approach. They are planning for that Bonanza mass arrival that we saw before. So they're vectoring aircraft out now for that Bonanza mass okay. arrival. These are, again, things that you plan for. So they're coming, keeping people outside of the lake here, which is fine. We can uh, work with that. But I'm struggling to work with this, this buffeting. Okay, so. 
work for you don't feel safe. You need to find somewhere else an alternate to land. These storms are building and moving. Uh, so if you don't feel safe and you want to protect the patient, you need to find somewhere else to, to uh, go land. It's going to be a little bit highway, half mile south of this. Go ahead and turn the west. Nice like rock. Turn west on for me. West around those lakes. Just use caution for that tree step out there. If you don't want to hold, you need to find somewhere else to go. It's still going to be a little bit. So if this weather moving in makes you a little uncomfortable. Um, can't control that, but it's going to be a little bit out here. Just use caution. There's moderate to heavy precipitation out here. So if you come to the track, about a half mile south of this, we're going to start that westbound turn around the west side of the lake. That sucks. Okay, so they're keeping everybody uh, moving out westbound. So we're going to do the same thing as uh, everyone else. It's hoping to get a rapid arrival in, but hey, this is this is the real world. We're doing this live. We're doing this, well, not live. It's recorded, but we're doing this in real world uh, conditions following real world ATC. So if they want us to keep west outside of, I don't even know what these, these aren't Butamorts. What is, Butamorts is there. No, where the, here's Butamort. Um, I don't know what lakes these are, but, uh, they're keeping us outside of uh, the airport now. There is that weather that I had mentioned before um, that's moving in. Not really getting it super well modeled here in the sim, but if I come back to FlightAware, you can see those storms are starting to intensify a little bit over Fisk. So um, I might do a weather reload and uh, use uh, Rex Weather Force to see if we can get a more accurate weather representation. Um, but either way, we're going to be uh, going up pretty far to the putt transition and uh, starting over at Fisk into Ripon. So we're just going to continue here at 1800, slow down to uh, 0, 0.9 or 0 knots. And uh, I guess we'll come, I'll come back once we're uh, allowed back in, once these bonanzas make their way in. Looks like there's quite a few more go so it's unfortunate but what can you do so we might be clearing up here in a little bit i've got uh the live feed you can see all those bonanzas coming in oh my word look at look at, look at this did you see this dude slam the brakes he almost chopped the back off of that guy so they're now bringing aircraft back in for uh disc approach we're going to hold at 1,800 feet. We're going to turn back inbound here. I think they do have a few more... A uh, few more Moonies to go. Ooh, look at the L-39. That looks crash-ish. I mean, they're all past the whole jorts. I know they have individual marshallers, but... Let's wait and see if there's a little smoke wisp. There was an L-39 that was screaming down the runway here, and all I saw on the feed here is all these bonanzas slowly taxiing, so hard, hard to say uh, what's what, but... Anyway, um, back to Flight Aware. Last few bonanzas are inbound. So they got a lot of airplanes out. Vision jet. There's that L-39 I just mentioned. Alright, we need to start uh, getting VFR here. I'm going to turn to 060. We're going to start looking for those tracks. I'm not a ripping. I think I'm visual. I can't tell. Now we need to come way, way east. Let's turn zero nine or zero. More easily one two zero. doing with this with the autopilot we'll uh go to hands flying once we're uh, a little bit closer to fisk here but there's ripping off to our right and i'm pretty sure the road that we want to follow is uh off our right wing here or the train tracks i should say there's additional uh 
waypoints called out in the notums, but uh, I don't think they're going to be modeled in flight sim. Uh, water tower, elevators, green elevators. Although, looking up ahead, I do see... Those aren't green elevators, but those are silage tanks. Not silage tanks, but storage tanks. So we're going to keep our uh, southeasterly heading here. Because um, WS-46 is a little bit off from Rippon, so Rippon's actually here. WS-46 was just to get us close. ATC has gone down again. So we'll load it here for a little bit. I'm really bummed out about this. Uh, it's a hot air balloon. It is. Bummed about this uh, mass arrival that we managed to catch. Uh, we might actually take her advice and deviate to ATW. Not us, we're definitely on land though. If you're not following, what she's doing is she's having us follow the Fisk approach until you're one half mile from Fisk. And then once you're one half mile west of Fisk, then you're going to come out west of these lakes here and just hold. So we'll be ready for that. I think I've got Fisk maps. Yeah, so there's Fisk there. So once we're a half mile from Fisk, this is the road. There's the railroad track that we need to be following. RV half mile south looks good. Uh, keep that west down turn going. And then we'll get. Uh, RV half mile south of Fisk, Rocky Wing. Correction, low wing. Low wing south of Fisk, Rocky. There you go. Left turn, sir. West. Man, dude, this Puckaway hold is going to be the end of me. Uh, we'll show the procedure. Um, just for brevity's sake. Make sure that... Uh, yeah, it's going to... Copy, so... Wait till we're a half mile south. Turn out west. Come over this lake here. And, uh, hold and wait. Wait for him to start bringing aircraft back in. Take a look at, uh, White Aware again. They are landing the last of the Bonanzas, it looks at, but boy, look at that intensity. There's some poor 172. Once you get a half mile south, we'll take you out. 
Okay, so they are doing a established transition now onto Fisk, or onto Runway 27, instead of doing the uh, classic green dot, uh, orange dot. Right now, we need to find Copy that. So maintain one mile spacing. Unfortunately for us, there's seemingly no other uh, aircraft being loaded. Um, last update I had was removed as out of range because Mr. Flight Radar 24 is, uh, oh no, it's actually showing a pretty good, uh, pretty good speckling of aircraft actually. But, uh, I don't know, they're certainly uh, not loading, so. That kind of sucks. Just to prove I'm, uh, not fibbing here, I'll pull up my FSLTL and you can see on my initial load, I do have, uh, VFR aircraft set to load 60 of them. Copy runway two seven. I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh see if ADIS is back up. It was uh, not before. Three six left and right. Yeah, Okay, so they're now reporting lightning. I am actually going to load up Rex because if you look outside of us here, I mean, this is borderline severe clear crap here. So let's go ahead and uh, load up Rex Weather Force. I. I love <laughs> the sass on these controllers. Honestly, it's it's my favorite part of uh, it, it's my favorite part of uh, Air Venture is just the sass on some of the controllers. We'll pretend we're part of that flight. Cause so I wanna, I wanna make it inbound. So we're now running Rex Weather Force. I mean, it doesn't seem to have done much either. There is a pretty big uh, alto, not alto cumulus, but a uh, nice cumulus cloud there. Ooh, I can hear thunder though.
switch over to tower. Uh, that's for 1836, though. I don't want them. Oh, big lightning flash. Going 18 5. All right, well, we got the weather situation more accurate. Uh, base, same. Who are the numbers laying on or after the green dot? Altitude. November 584, Mike Alpha, proceed direct to view. And then grab it, set your descent. Alright, so we're coming out over the quarry now. Detail, but Angela, looking great. Keep that turn coming around, laying on after the green deck, clear land. T 34s left into the grass or right on the hard surface, uh, looking to show. So they would normally call us as uh one echo fox shot on the two seven clear line. Two seven clear line, one eight one echo fox shot. Staff on the base, keep that turn coming all the way around, like aim for the orange dot lane on there after the green deck clear line. Aim orange lane green and see how they're still circling. Two seven clear line. This is land two seven, one eight one echo fox shot. So normally here we'd get our Everybody call. Into the grass, the thing, you know, they'd either say Cessna over the quarry, which we are now, or Highwing over the quarry, give me a ring walk, wing rock. And it looks like he's doing doing base on the orange dot, clear to land on the green dot is what I'm hearing, so we'll pretend we Pretend we got that clearance, so we'll start our turn now. We're not gonna round out or square our turns, we're gonna do a nice big round okay, approach. It sounds like they're making people turn okay. left into the grass. Holy crosswind. I know you guys can't feel the inputs that I'm having to do to maintain a uh, maintain a uh, straight level flight, but holy, not straight level flight, but controlled flight. It's a lot. Hey, we landed almost perfectly in with that uh, Cessna and the RV. Going for the green dot. We're making a left turn out on the grass after we touch down. Holy smokes. Alright, we made it in. Left turn off into the grass, follow the flag marshalers. Turn your base, same for the orange dot lane out for the green dot, third one. And welcome to Oshkosh, guys. That is the uh, Fisk approach done virtually. I'm going to go watch some uh, people do it in the real Did world now. Julia, Drive down to the airport, Oshkosh, park out at my Oshkosh, super uh, secret. Uh, uh, DFW airport radar vectors on a okay. okay, we're good. Thanks. I'm trying to do an outro. Um. I'm going to go watch some real airplanes do it in the real world and uh, see if uh, see any of you guys out there. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I do really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. As always, take it easy.